All right, so what I'm going to show you here is um, how I use Charles Schwab. So I'm just on the screen because I wanted to make sure I was on a screen that didn't give away any of my private information. But I wanted to show you how it is you use the platform if you are a Mac user. So, um, so I, I've kind of discussed before, I am a Mac user. All I have are um, Macintosh or Apple-based computers. So I do not have any Windows-based computers. However, I have at some point did a partition of my hard drive and used the Intel-based components so that I was able to load a part of Windows 10 on my computer. So that way I could run um, the Street Smart Edge platform as well as my other brokerage platforms that are more designed to go on Windows-based platforms. But rest assured, if you are an Apple user, you are still able to use Street Smart Edge, the platform. And I'm going to show you how right now, uh, because it took me quite a while to find it. I feel like they don't do a very good job of showcasing how to do it. So once you're logged in, you're typically going to go to your start page, which is going to be your accounts. Um, and you'll go through there. So you're just going to click this trade button on this, uh, this trade ribbon. You're going to come over here to trading tools. And uh, so don't click this because it's not going to give you the one you want to see. Well, it will, but if you're um, if you're an Apple user, you want to click the trading tools. So you're going to come over here to trading tools, and this is where you're going to download the software. If you are a if you um, if you have a Windows based machine, then you can just download the the Street Smart Edge software, the one that you've seen me use in other videos. But if you are a Mac user, then you are not able to download the software. Um, instead, you are going to launch a cloud version, and using a Citrix Cloud Viewer, um, you are going to be able to still use the platform, but you will use that Citrix Viewer. Um, but so I'm just going to click this and kind of show you what it looks like here. So it's just going to take you to a new page, and it's going to download it over here in the Downloads button. Um, if you are a Mac user, remember, you will need to upgrade to the Citrix workspace, and they will give you a free download just by clicking this. So um, I already have, uh, I do already have this, uh, um, this, this saved on my computer. So what you would do, once you are up and running, you would just um, click this viewer here. And so then you'll just click it, and uh, we'll wait, give it a second to load and we'll see, so I've got my Citrix viewer up, we will see how this looks. Uh, it's gonna be, you can't see it, it's in my screen a little bit lower, but it is loading. And uh, so let's give it a second to kind of load up and then we will, we will start. There we go. So, um, so there you go. So if anyone has seen my my uh, my platform before, uh, this should all look familiar. So now again, I am using um, I am using the Street Smart Edge platform using the um, using the Citrix viewer. So it all looks identical. It's exactly the way you want it to be. Um, so. Um, you know, here's the platform in itself. So if you want to see me kind of go through the platform in and of itself, there is another video for that. But I just wanted to show you how you are indeed able to use the uh, platform. Um, and it does function all the same. So it looks like I was using uh, Neo before. I, I have noticed that there is a slight lag, uh, just depending on the time. Normally that lag is not nearly as bad during the day, during the actual trading hours, but this the market is closed. This is a Sunday at the time of this recording. But uh, you know, just to show you that this is the exact platform that I have set up, and um, and that's that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave leave me questions in the comment box. But that is how you use the Street Smart Edge platform as a Mac user.